Hi everyone, welcome back to Zephyr's Travels. I'm Randy. And I'm Diane. And yesterday we got the heck out of Dodge. And today we are in just outside of Santa Fe. And where park are we at? Hyde Park Memorial State Park. Yes. Okay. Yep, we're at Hyde Memorial State Park. And we took the Santa Fe Trail to get here. And we'll show you some video of that. Um, and you probably saw some in the beginning too. Turn left to North 14th Avenue. State Park. Small. Yeah, it's not very big. There's only 12 RV campsites. Yeah, and right now they look like they're they're doing some construction. We're here in off season, and it looks like they're bringing in new electric. So they're probably upgrading the electric to 50 amp. It's really pretty here. It's on a hill, and it's all full of spruce trees and white birch trees. So it's it's just very scenic. Yeah, it seems to be a very nice park. Like Randy said, this is the off season, but the campground, it, this part of the campground is open year round. And we did hear that while you do have electric, they do shut the water off yeah. in the colder months. And that seems to be what we found at a lot of the campgrounds we're running into along the way out here, at least the state parks. You know, they do stay open, but they do shut down some of the services. But the campground is very reasonable. It is only $18 a night with electricity. Yeah. So it's perfect for you know a couple overnights, and I suppose later in the season this is area it's going to get snow, so you yeah, may want to think about that if you're coming here. A skiing area further up the hill or yeah. mountain. Yeah, I guess so you, would you call could it. you could end up with snow. There were a lot of signs along the way up here saying that the road is only plowed during the daylight hours and such. So and to have chains. Yeah, so you might want to think about that if you're, you know, when you come here. Yeah. And also, I, I would imagine this campground is probably pretty hard to get into in the summer with only 12 sites. Right, right. But there is 10 camping across the street, which for right now is closed. Right, that is closed. They're also doing construction over there, but a pretty neat place. Yeah. So today we're going to head into Santa Fe and do some sightseeing. I understand there are some pretty nice things that you want to see while you do visit Santa Fe. Yep, so we're going to do that. We've got one day here at Santa Fe, and then we'll continue our tour of New Mexico. So let's get going. Let's get going.
Behind me is St. Francis Assisi, who is a patron saint of Santa Fe. You gotta like this guy. He has a, a dog or a wolf with him. Aren't my kind of guy. This is Santa Fe Plaza. It's right in the middle of downtown and it's a mixture of little shops and restaurants and different things to see. The um, church is right up the street here. It's kind of a neat little area to kind of walk around and check out the different things. Most of it's out of our price range, but it was fun to walk through. It's really kind of neat. There's a lot of different little shops. We did go into several of them. We didn't buy anything though. Not that we wouldn't have liked to, but it, a lot of the stuff is outside our budget. But it's a nice day. I mean, it's beautiful. It's sunny when you get in the sun. As you can tell, it's pretty warm and I took my sweatshirt off. So yeah, it was, uh, it was a nice way to spend your time in Santa Fe. And it's, you know, really worth the time spent. I want to show you around our campsite a little bit. It's pretty nice. We have a picnic table and a fire pit. The campsite itself is paved, so it's uh, easy to park on. It's a pretty good size. I can get the trailer back in here and the truck without any problem. It is 30 amp electricity. It does look like they're upgrading the electricity through the campground. So maybe by the time you, you come here, there'll be, there'll be 50 amp available. There are only 12 sites in this area for um, RVs, um, motorhomes, trailers, and such. There is a larger section over on the other side that is for tents, and we walked through there just a few minutes ago, and we'll show you some of that too. not that close to your neighbor at least on this site he's up there at least 100 feet or so and there's nothing across you're in that side of a mountain I'd say the only real downside to this campground would be the highways right there and it's not really a highway but it's the road through the campground or through the state park and the traffic through here is probably coming at 25 30 miles an hour 
So there is a little bit of traffic noise, but it died right down and was, you know, silent all night. So you don't hear it at night, just mostly during the day, and you know, cars would be coming through. Other than that, it's a very nice uh, campground. We enjoyed our stay here. Um, we are leaving tomorrow. We're heading uh, s south through uh, New Mexico, um, down to the southern end of the state, and we got a few places there we're going to take you to next. So come along for the ride. Here's the parking sign for this Tomasita's restaurant. We thought it was kind of interesting. If it's for parking for the restaurant only and otherwise you'll get towed away and it says to recover the remains of your vehicle call express towing 